So we have a youngster, an up-and-coming youngster, who has a great opportunity here tonight in Indianapolis against a seasoned veteran on the comeback. It should be an outstanding matchup in our main event on this card. We also have some very fine preliminary bouts coming your way. In fact, when we come back, we will be seeing a five-round middleweight bout between Norman Roberts and Doug Yates. We'll be back with more Kick of the 80s after this. And let's go into the ring now to Dave Hutchinson. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting now a five-round middleweight bout. The referee is J.T. Will. Introducing in the blue corner, he is 23 years old, stands six feet, weighing in at 164 pounds from Muncie, Indiana, with a record of two wins and no losses. Here is Norman Roberts. Introducing in the red corner, he is 26 years of age, stands 5'11", and weighs in at 168 pounds. From Xenia, Ohio, with a record of nine wins, eight losses, and seven draws, here is Doug Yates. Doug Yates and Norman Roberts, an interesting contrast in statistics, but should be a very interesting fight. Let's listen to J.T. Will. Okay, just a last second reminder, come on in. Make sure you guys keep your kicks above the waist. In the case of a knockdown, I'll direct the standing fighter to a neutral corner. Be sure to stay there until I call you back. Do not hit or kick after I say break, it will be a foul. No holding, no clinching. Shake hands now, we'll begin with the bell. Norman Roberts, he's 2-0, oh, but a very impressive 2-0. Oh. Two knockouts in his full contact career, 23 years old, and Doug Yates, nine and eight with seven knockouts but of those eight losses many the top ten contenders in the lightweight division we're now in the middleweight class five rounds Roberts versus Yates Yates with the black stripe on the white pants spinning back kick that uh, had a nice action to it by Roberts and we start off in the first round with uh, what looks like experienced karate fighters Doug Yates was fighting in that light heavyweight division up a division from where he is now. In fact, he fought uh, former world champion Kerry Roof. Now down in the middleweight division, he feels like he'll have more power here. Roberts, of course, trying to just add to his undefeated career. And he took a right hand even though he came in. Takes a left hand. He's in trouble. J.T. Will steps in between the two for the standing eight count. Okay, Roberts that's took that's a right couple right of right real right fine right punches. Right Doug Yates waits. Still have one minute, ten seconds remaining in the first round. A nice kick by Roberts. Roberts content to go with the high kicks. And Yates content to come inside. Boy, both men are just blasting one another with both the kicks and punches. Left hand that staggered him. The left hand back in the corner. Hit Roberts, and Roberts did not know where he was for a time being. He was standing up. But wasn't sure. Now he's regained his composure and back at it once again here in the first round. A second standing eight count in this round. Remember, if he gets another one, the fight, the fight will be stopped. Gotta protect against that left hand. Three knockdowns in one round. Landed right on his face, broke his fall with his forehead then. Off balance after the spinning kick. And Roberts wasn't anywhere to be found. Roberts is looking to He's out of it, Doug. He's land out that of it. left hand once again. Spinning back. Yates hand, said man. that he was going to knock Roberts out through the ropes at the foot of our handheld camera, but he was about four feet off then. Well, his prediction did not come true. There's the bell that ends the first round. Roberts in trouble, it looks like. As we go back to his corner. Great. Bob Jarrett, Don Green, his handlers. Let's listen in. Don't try to bang with him, Norm. Move. Don't bang with him. Move and kick. Get some jabs going, okay? Move. Take some deep breaths. Breathe. 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 The first indication that Roberts was really in trouble. Watch that short shot right there that put him down. J.T. Will comes right between the two of them. J. Will is not hesitant to step in there and protect the fighter. He's going all caution to the wind as he comes in between them. Well, he's experienced enough in karate to be 
able to do that and not get hurt himself. But the safety record of PK Karate is something to be very, very proud of, and it's because of officials like JT and the officials that JT will train that make it as safe as it is. How would you unofficially score that first round, Joe? At that first round, 10-8, a big round for Yates with those two standing eight counts. Yates taking a pretty good left hand that time from Roberts. Roberts unable to really put anything together. Yeah, Roberts is landing good, solid round kicks up to the head. Oh, he got one just as you said, and followed up with a blow. And then the spinning back fist by Yates. Roberts threw caution to the wind that time, and Yates got him with a left hand, and it is a knockout. Look at Yates. He's a happy young man. Well, his prediction didn't come true. It wasn't the first round, but just when it looked like Roberts was uh, coming back with some effective moves, Yates got him with that left hand. What a turnaround. Yates started in, ran into a sidekick, very strong sidekick into the face, and then smashed him with the solid hand that put Roberts down. He could not recover. Impressive victory by Doug Yates, his 10th win in full contact karate. Let's check it now. Yates is back to us. Roberts goes up high. Solid round kick to the head, just right on the end of it. And this kick here, a savage side kick into the face. That solid left hand spinning back fist would have just finished him off. That left hand started Roberts to the floor. He could not recover from it. Okay, let's go up into the ring. Dave Hutchinson. Ladies and gentlemen, 39 seconds into the second round, Doug Yates wins by a knockout. There's the official time in the second round of the scheduled five-round middleweight bout between Norman Roberts and Doug Yates. We'll be right back at Indianapolis, Indiana with more Kick of the 80s right after this. A very happy Doug Yates. Doug has uh, just scored his 10th victory, his eighth knockout. Doug, this middleweight division seems like it's going to be a much better division for you. Yes, yes, definitely. I'm, I'm real pleased being down here now in the, in the middleweight. Those light heavies were too strong for me, so now I'm down in the middleweight. Among the light heavyweight losses that you had were the world light heavyweight champion, Kerry Roof. Yeah, Kerry hits extremely hard. Uh, five, you know, went to the fourth round, he broke my jaw in the fourth, and I tried to fight until the fifth, but he kept on hitting me in the fifth, so I had to stop. Well, the determination to come back in this middleweight division really has paid off for you. Yes, definitely. What about Robert's kicks now? Uh, Robert's looked like he might have been hurting you just before you took him out with the kicks. No, he wouldn't really hurt me. He was just tagging me. I got caught up with uh, uh, a lot of his flurries there. See, he nailed me there with a nice hook kick and a, and a straight right hand, but there's not no comparison between his power and the power of the light heavyweights. I knew, I knew by a high kicker like that, that eventually I, I could catch him with a straight left hand, which, which I, which I, what I did there. And you followed up with a spinning back fist, which fortunately for him missed. Right, definitely. That's my bread and butter, my spinning back fist. Okay, what are the next plans in the middleweight division? Do you want to go after some of the world contenders in this middleweight division, yeah. or do you just want to stay with the guys not in there for a while? No, I want to go to the contenders, but I have to wait and see what my manager and my uh, trainer has to say. I'm fighting again August 13th in Dayton, Ohio, against a guy named Virgil Davis, so I'm getting ready for that one now. A very impressive win by Doug Yates in this middleweight division. Let's go back down now to Art Ekman. Well, Joe, we've got all kinds of action coming up. Exciting PKA kick of the 80s from the 10 